So I'm starting off cutting up some sweet potato. I know that sweet potato, or from what I've read, it's really good for when you're on your period. So I am chopping up a bunch of sweet potato and I also heard that salmon is good too. Kind of funny, the orange foods, right? <laughs> Which is totally connected with that area. If you guys are familiar with chakras, the sacral chakra, which is also associated with the color orange, so I'm not surprised. But yeah, so we got sweet potato, we've got salmon. I have some Beyond Meat here, excuse this nail. So we've got sweet potato, salmon. Um, I have some bell peppers here. I have tempeh, salmon, I said salmon already, but my proteins, I have tempeh, salmon, and Beyond Meat. I've got the um, greens, I have mustard greens, kale, and bok choy. And so I have my veggies, I have my proteins, I have my healthy carbs, I've got sweet potato, and over here I have a blend of brown rice and lentils. I'll show you guys which ones I used. So these are the lentils I got from Pavilions. It's just a sprouted lentil blend. So this one has, let me see. I don't know if you can read that. Sprouted green, brown, and black lentils. So it's a nice little mixture. So I've got some carbs, I've got my veggies, I've got protein. So I just got back from a walk actually not too long ago. It was so nice and it's starting to get really like, what's it called, June gloom? Is it called June Gloom where it's like gloomy? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I had a nice little walk this morning and went right into meal prep when I got back because I can feel it coming and I know it's about to happen anytime soon, sometime today. I don't know how much of each thing to cut up. I'll probably cut one more sweet potato. Is that a lot? Okay, I have four containers. Four containers? Yeah, four containers. So four meals, which will be pretty good for like two days. I'm basically doing like lunch and dinner. I think a two day meal prep is pretty solid. Is it? And then I think I'll just keep leftovers of the rice and the sweet potato. So if I need to make another meal, it's just already prepped and ready. So I'm excited. I haven't done this in so long. I haven't even taken my bag off. I just went right into it. I think that's enough sweet potato because I also have the rice and the lentils. So I think that's enough. And I'll save these. I'll go ahead and chop up my bell peppers. I need to wash them first. And this is just going to be a little like side with the veggies. I feel like these would be really good with the Beyond meat burgers. I don't know what I'm doing with those yet. I'm kind of just doing this freestyle. I'm freestyling a little bit. Greens, like leafy greens, are also really good when you're on your period. So this time around, my priority, my goal, my dream, and my vision for my period is to nourish my body as much as I can, as best as I can, and kind of prep for it because these past few times, these past few months, I've just been like not feeding myself enough because my stomach, let me know if you guys are like this too, but my stomach, oh sorry honey. My stomach gets all like weird and I just don't have the energy to be up and walking around and cooking. So I think this will be really helpful for me. I'm excited to see how it goes. I know it'll be definitely really convenient and nice and easy. Cause I always, I always feel better in my cramps decrease when I actually eat a balanced meal during my period. Also, this is just such a great form of self care. Should I make a TikTok? answer is always yes whenever i ask myself that of course it's like why not tiktok is so fun okay hmm okay i've got my little sous chef here hi baby you gonna help mama look at those eyes oh my goodness how cute oh you see me that's okay that's okay the funny thing about me making all this healthy food right now is that I'm also eating a cookie in the process. Balance, my friends. Mm. 
let's keep going. I'm gonna, my rice and lentils are done, so I'm gonna add a little bit of my favorite vegan butter to that. I also added a little salt, just a little chunk of that. I'm also gonna add a little bit of uncooked olive oil. Oh my gosh, did I just start my period? Oh my gosh, I think I did. Perfect timing, perfect timing. Let's try some. Woo. Okay, so that's done. I need to finish cutting up my vegetables. I need to make my TikTok, be right back. I am a multitasking machine right now, okay. Let's keep cooking, let's keep cooking. What's next? So I've got a big pan with water in it going here. I roughly chopped up, chopped up my mustard greens, my kale, and bok choy. So I'm just gonna mix this a little bit now. And I might add a little bit more because these shrink down so much. As I've mentioned before, I do have a sensitivity to garlic, so I can't use veggie broth, but definitely use that because um, it adds flavor to the greens. So to my greens here, I added some turmeric and black pepper, sea salt, onion powder, um, kept it pretty simple with the seasoning there. And now I have my sweet potatoes going and just some water and a little bit of vegan butter there. I'll probably add a little bit more, but I'm gonna let that cook. And hopefully we can get a little bit of crispiness on the outside once all the water evaporates out of there, but that's how I'm gonna cook those. And then last but not least, I have my bell peppers and my protein. Update, I just finished the salmon and that's finishing cooking there with the heat off. I've got my tempeh going. I have my sweet potatoes, um, the water cooked out of it, so I added some cinnamon. I added a little bit of coconut sugar and salt and a little bit more butter. So that's gonna cook a little bit, hopefully get a little bit of a browning on the outside. And the last thing is the bell peppers. So I've got a whole stove situation going on here, but I am almost done. Also, really quickly to the salmon, I added a little bit of this teriyaki sauce. Update, I am just about done cooking. I'm just finishing up sauteing the bell peppers right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and start. I wish I had a few more of these, because I definitely have more food. Um, I'll definitely have leftovers after I fill these containers, but I personally like to use glass ones. They're really easy to reheat in the toaster oven. I recently stopped using the microwave and they're BPA free, of course, and it's just healthier in my opinion. So, um, I'm gonna use these. I just got these from the grocery store, by the way. I just went to Pavilions and they have some. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling my containers. So I'm gonna start with my rice and lentils. Next, I'm gonna add the sweet potato. Um, here first. Next, I'm gonna go for the greens. These are nice and juicy. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Next, I have the bell pepper, the sauteed bell pepper. I'm just gonna add a little bit of those. Okay, it's 
So we have the rice and lentils at the bottom with the sweet potato, the greens, and the bell pepper. And then I'm gonna finish off with the protein. Okay, so to one of them, I'm gonna add my tempeh, which I did end up adding some of that teriyaki sauce on there as well. So it's a little bit of teriyaki tempeh. Let's see. I'll probably put the salmon in these two because there's more room. So I'll do the vegan ones over here. Have the Beyond Meat Crumble. I wanted to give myself a variety of proteins Ooh, so that I wouldn't, I'm making a mess. So that I wouldn't get bored of the same, the exact same meals. I mean, the sides are the same, but. And last but not least, the salmon. How that turned out. Ah, I could fit it in here. I especially love salmon during this time of the month for the omegas. Come on, little salmon, get in now. I only have a few seconds left in my TikTok, so I wanted to finish these bowls and have one final shot, so I wanna make it kinda cute-ish. We're all done, guys. Okay, so everything's all done. I wanted to give you guys a final overview. So I have two salmons and then two vegan ones. So this is the Beyond Meat crumbled up and tempeh, which I'm obsessed with right now. I love my tempeh. I'm so excited. This is gonna be my favorite part of the day for these next few days. 